This video is about modeling sinusoidal functions. Texas Star is a Ferris wheel at the State Fair in Dallas. The Ferris wheel has a diameter of 61.8 meters. To begin the ride, a passenger gets into a chair at the lowest point on the wheel, which is 2.7 meters above the ground. As shown in the following diagram, a ride consists of multiple revolutions, and the Ferris wheel makes 1.5 revolutions per minute. The height of a chair above the ground edge measured in meters during a ride on the Ferris wheel can be modeled by the function h of t equals negative a cosine bt plus d, where t is the time in seconds since a passenger began the ride. Calculate the value of a. From the given information, we do know a is a positive. So, a is an amplitude. The diameter of the Ferris wheel is 61.8. The radius of the Ferris wheel is 61.8 divided by 2 equals 30.9 meters. The amplitude means distance from a maximum point to the midline, which is a radius. So A equals 30.9. Let's go to B. Find the value of B. Since B equals 360 degree over period. For the period, Let's look at this information. 1.5 revolutions per minute. Remember the units for T is seconds, which means 1.5 revolution for 60 seconds. What about one revolution? How many seconds we need? That will be the period equals 60 over 1.5 equals 40 seconds. So B equals 360 degree over 40 equals 9 degree. Look at the C. Find the value of D. D is the distance from midline to the ground. That is 30.9 plus 2.7 equals 33.6. So D equals 33.6 meters. Let's go to D. A ride on the Ferris wheel lasts for 12 minutes in total. Calculate the number of revolutions of the Ferris wheel per ride. We do know one minute for 1.5 revolutions of the Ferris wheel. So 12 minutes we will get 12 times 1.5 revolutions. That is 18 revolutions. E, for exactly one ride on the Ferris wheel, suggest an appropriate domain of H of T. One ride is 
18 revolutions since period equals 40 seconds, which means one revolution will take 40 seconds. 18 revolutions will take 720 seconds. So the domain of H of T is T greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to 720 seconds. F, an appropriate range for HT. Since H means height of a chair above the ground, the lowest distance is 2.7. The highest distance is 61.8 plus 2.7, which is 64.5. Therefore, the range for H of T is greater than or equal to 2.7 less than or equal to 64.5. Let's go to G. Big tax is a 16.7 meter tall cowboy statue that stands on the horizontal ground next to the Ferris wheel. By considering the graph of H of T, Determine the length of time during one revolution of the Ferris wheel for which the chair is higher than the cowboy statue. We assume this is 16.7 meters high above the ground. We need to figure out T1 and T2. When the chair of the Ferris wheel has the same height as the cowboy statue, we already figure out A equals 30.9, B equals 9, D equals, D equals 33.6, H of T equals negative 30.9 cosine 90 plus 33.6. We will make H of T equals 16.9, which means negative 30.9 cosine 90 plus 33.6 equals 16.7. We try to solve this equation by equation solver. Subtract 16.7 both sides. Negative 30.9 cosine 90 plus 33.6 minus 16.7 equals zero. Let's check the mode first. Make sure it's in degree. Then go to y equals negative 30.9 cosine 9x plus 33.6 minus 16.7. Then we go to math equation solver. Alpha trace get y1. We know the period of this Ferris wheel is 40 seconds. We will put a 10. Alpha enter. Give us t1 equals 6.3159. Quit. Press X. Take t1 out. Go back to equation solver. This time, we will put 30, then 
alpha enter. We got T2, 33.6840. Quit. Press X again. Then do the subtraction between these two values. 27.4 seconds is the solution. By solver, T1 equals 6.3159. T2 equals 33.6840. Twenty seven point four seconds is the solution. Let's go to H. There is a plan to relocate the Texas Star Ferris wheel onto a taller platform, which will increase the maximum height of the Ferris wheel to sixty five point two meters. This will change the value of one parameter A, B, or D found in part A. Identify which parameter will change. A is amplitude, basically means the radiance of this Ferris wheel. A won't change. For B, it's related to the period period won't change. D is the distance from midline to the ground. Since the platform is increased, D will increase. Find the new value of the parameter identified in part H. We are looking for this D. We know the maximum height is uh, 65.2. Then you subtract uh, the diameter of uh, Ferris wheel, 61.8 uh, is the height of a uh, planform. That is uh, 3.4 meters. Then 3.4 plus Radiance of this uh, Ferris wheel, 30.9, is uh, the D equals 34.3. So new D equals 30.9 plus 3.4 equals 34.3 meters.